The body of real estate agent Jacqueline Lard, 32, was found one day after a gruesome scene of struggle was discovered at the office of what was then Mount Vernon Realty on Garrisonville Road in Stafford County. It was November 1986. Sheriff David Decatur had just joined the law enforcement agency. Stafford County was a smaller county, much smaller, and our department was much smaller. The intensive investigation into Lard's murder involved a task force of law enforcement agencies, including the FBI and the DEA, for whom her husband was working out of the U.S. at the time of her death. But the killer remained at large. Detective Dave Wood took on the case as one of his last before retirement. His focus, genetic genealogy using the DNA carefully collected nearly four decades ago. County Board of Supervisors approved the funding because this is independent. Uh, this is not a state lab. It is quite expensive, but the rewards, here we are. Detective Wood himself made the arrest of 65-year-old Elroy Harrison of Stafford. Our job is to eliminate you as a suspect as well as I find the guilty people, and that's what I wanted to do before I retired is give close to Mr. Lard. Stunningly, the DNA analysis linked Harrison to another high-profile cold case murder, according to police in Fairfax County. In March of 1989, Stafford County resident Amy Baker, 18 years old, was found murdered near the exit ramp from I-95 to Backlick Road in Springfield. Her family found her body as they searched a wooded area near where her unoccupied car was discovered. Detectives determined that her car had run out of gas and believe Baker encountered her killer walking to a gas station. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.